pile apparently... Man, these filing cabinets are a mess. Even I could keep them up better than this. It looks a lot more detailed than it did in Space Quest IV, that's for sure. You look at it, but nothing strikes your fancy. It looks a lot more detailed than it did in Space Quest IV, that's for sure. It hurts your eyes to look at that. In fact, you feel a major headache coming on. It hurts your eyes to... Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Looks like interesting reading. That file, that, that file, that file, that file apparently doesn't want to open. That file. That fight. That file apparently doesn't want to open. That fight. That fight. That fight. That fight. Hmm, looks like interesting reading. That fire. Hmm, looks like interesting reading.
looks like interesting reading. That fire. That fire. That. That fire. Uh, that looks like a heck of a jump. Man, these filing cabinets are a man, these. That file, that, that, that file apparently doesn't. That file, that file, that. That file, that file. You summon the... That fire, that fuck, that fuck, that that file. That fuck, that fuck, General Drawer Failure, please step off and try another approach. You get the idea, don't you? That fuck, that, that, that. That fuck, that fuck. That. 
that fu- that fire that 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 fire that fire that fire that fire That fire. General drawer failure. Please. You get the idea. Don't you? That. General, you get the uh, general, you get the that fire that fire that. It feel The cyber printer accepts your cyber file gratefully and begins to print. The question is, what exactly is the output of a cyber printer? Next. Well, what do you know? Maybe there is something to this superhero reputation thing after all. And after that episode with the egg beater, I thought you'd never impress me again.
Well, Dr. Bellos, I think you've got some explaining to do. You're out of your mind, Wilco. So, what do you have to say for yourself now, Doctor? Confronted with the facts found in the files you located, he freaks and spills all. Oh, uh, my... Eloquently stated. I... I didn't think this all the way through until I'd crossed my own personal ethical line. I was already... It had already gone too far. The experiments alone... I thought I could do just this one thing and still live with myself. Love can move a person to do some strange things, Wilco. She knew how I felt and used it to her advantage. I think I know what you mean about that love thing, but, but wait a minute. Slow down. Are you saying you have the hots for... I mean, you are actually romantically intrigued by Sharpay? Wow, you are serious. I agree that love can make you do some weird stuff. In this case, though, it made you do some stuff that was unethical and illegal, Doctor. Where is Stellar Santiago? I know she was alive, that her death was faked. What have you done with her? Great Caesar's ghost. The woman, she's still alive, but I'm afraid not much time remains. She is? What do you mean, not much time remains? As you must realize by now, the Golden Light Years project was merely a front for the research I'd been conducting per Sharpay's wishes. She is intensely fearful of death. You probably didn't notice that she is getting up in age a bit. Yeah, who could have guessed that? In very simple terms, Janitor Wilco. That's janitor second class, pal. And don't you forget it. Excuse me, janitor second class. As I was saying, Sharpe feared dying. Enough to take the lives of others to save her own. She knew I loved her. I remember the day I met her. It was at the funeral of... Oh, I believe it was her fourth husband. And I remember never having seen her look so radiant... I fell for her, hard, and she knew it. You should have seen her in black. I'll pass, thanks. Just tell me about Stellar. Okay. The bottom line is that I have developed a way to extend Sharpay's life by transferring her mental essence into the body of another. It was to be you until your friend Stellar Santiago got in the way. We thought no one would miss you. Go figure. What I have done is to employ nanotechnology to take over the designated host body, as is happening with your friend as we speak. Stellar's body is being taken over by Sharpay? Jeez, I don't understand. Is there anything we could do to stop it? I've never really thought of it that way. Well, think about it now. We have to save Stellar. You can't let her die. You can redeem yourself at least to some degree, Doc. As much as it pains me to admit it, you're right, Roger. You're right. Okay, I think I may have a plan. We can save her. There are some interesting spin-off technological breakthroughs. I'm going to send you in to stop Sharpay. Say what? No, uh, I, I don't think... It's her only chance. If you seriously care for your friend, you'll do this. Oh, the only way, huh? The only way. Well, okay then. I hope you're sure about this. I'm positive. Here's how we shall go about it. You will move your shuttle into Lab B. Meanwhile, I will generate new software for your shuttle's navigational system, which will help you locate the nanites, the very small robotic devices I developed for the intrusion. One of them is Sharpay. If you can stop Sharpay, well, your friend's chances of survival improve immensely. Then, then, once I have located and extracted you, 
I shall work to repair whatever damage may have been done to Stella during the attempted incursion. The shuttle is nicely miniaturized by the beam deal. Hopefully, it is reversible. Perhaps you should have asked about that. There are some things you can't afford to have smaller. Mm.